you're welcome to another spirit filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well. I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. Voice and ask the Lord for an encounter as you pray in the spirit. Go ahead and pray. Give me an encounter even by your spirit. Someone is praying. In a mashala craska de belegatosia vanamsia, Manda Prandos Kadiba la Kusha Pradeska de belegatosia. Our hearts are open to the spirit of the living God. Shata tata bakata baratos kata frente de belagosha de brianda katosiata. Make sure you participate in the prayer. Shalim prete is kapila kasho dobra kaskadila kapaharia degete frostia. Sodobat degete balakusa fratis libriata. Shalabata semekendos diata. Harapatus kaparontes kadiberentes yene katushima. Arunda baratus afregeni balakusia. Let there be a mighty move of your spirit tonight. Let there be miracles, signs, wonders, the demonstration of the superiority of the kingdom of light, even over darkness. This we believe, this we decree. Shaman dos kabila katus. Shabrateke paradu kapele kate paladus yata. In the name of Jesus. One more prayer request and then we sit down. Genesis 24 and verse 1. And the Lord visited Sarah as he had said. And the Lord did unto Sarah as he had spoken. 21 1. 21 1. Genesis 21 and verse 1 and the Lord visited Sarah as he had said and the Lord did unto Sarah as he has spoken he only does what he says and because he has said it the Bible says and whatsoever Adam called it that was the name thereof I'd like you to lift your voice and say Lord do to me as you have said do upon me as you have decreed do to me, do for me as you have said. Is someone praying? Sabratiki Palashivas, as you have said, by your spirit, as you have said, by your word, as you have said, by your servant. Let there be a performance in my life tonight. For in Jesus' name we pray. For in Jesus' name we pray. Please pray a point tonight. Father, I obtain grace. In the name of Jesus, obtain grace to walk in keeping with these keys that you have revealed. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Pray from the depth of your heart. The untimely death that took my brother, my sister, my father, my mother, my relatives the untimely death that keeps sweeping people across my territory i decree and declare that i'm free from it through knowledge shall the just be delivered i decree and declare i have no covenant with death i obtain grace someone is praying Grace, grace, mention the various areas 
the various keys you can remember and receive grace from heaven a global family are you praying make sure you are praying from your room your office wherever you are connecting from in the name of Jesus I shall not die in the name of Jesus I shall not die not out of fear but my longevity is important for my life my family the program of God and for as long as my assignment remains I reject death by the power of the Holy Spirit I submit to the Lordship of Jesus the resurrection and the life I obtain grace to walk in the fear of the Lord obeying his precepts and living by the truth of Scripture someone pray I decree and declare that from tonight my words will only minister life and health and vitality pray Oh death, where is your sting? Oh grave, where is your victory? No covenant with death. No covenant with untimely death. The fullness of my days I fulfill. In the name of Jesus. The fullness of my days I fulfill. In the name of Jesus. The fullness of my days I fulfill. In the name of Jesus, according to Psalm 118 and verse 17, I shall not die. I shall not die. I shall not die. I prophesy by the power of the Holy Spirit. I live. I shall not die. I live and declare the works of the Lord. I shall not die. I shall not die. In the name of Jesus, not by accident, not by sickness. Hallelujah hallelujah let me add one more prayer request for you i want you to declare over your physical body prophesy longevity from your head to your toe i want you to call your organs by name if you can and begin to declare in the name of jesus my blood is cleansed by the spirit no killer disease around my blood my system is sanitized by the power of the holy ghost the various organs and systems in your body prophesy it will not deteriorate with age for the bible says they that be planted in the house of the lord that they will flourish in the courts of our god that in old age they will be fat and flourishing pray my eyes will not go dim in the name of jesus i rebuke arthritis i have strength and vitality no cardiovascular diseases in the name of jesus christ he keepeth his bones so that none is missing i have a covenant of peace nothing missing nothing broken my eyes are bright as the sun in the name of jesus christ i have the hearing ear the seeing eye strength to walk in the name of jesus strength to walk he empowers me with strength from heaven like hinds feet my natural strength will not be abated in the name of Jesus as my year so shall my strength be perfect vitality in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah please hear me you know someone who is struggling with his or her health next week is our final miracle service for 2022 it's not the final service but the final miracle service we don't do miracle services in December although all the services in December by the grace of God will take time to praise God but I want to really take the time to minister to people please listen I want to charge you and challenge you by the God of heaven 
everybody you know who is trusting God to touch their bodies, their minds, their finances, their work with God, I want you to draw them and tell them, come and experience the mighty hand of God. We are going to be taking time to really pray for the sick. Because of time constraints, sometimes I leave and I really feel bad in my heart because I just feel that more could be done, particularly for people who are sick. Some of these people, there is no other solution. There is no other way if God does not help them. Hallelujah. So let me declare over your life, and I want you to believe, I have received myself the blessings and the grace of fathers and elders. You've heard about my encounter in the West and many of the fathers by the grace of God and by the privilege of his hand, almost all the major fathers of faith that I extended in age. I've had the honor of having them pray and among the many things I requested was grace for long life because this journey is still far. And you see, when people have something, they can give. Hallelujah. Some of you have the privilege of having parents that have lived long. Let me give you an advice. Package a gift. Don't go empty-handed, putting your hand in your pocket and say, Daddy, bless me. If I'm your father, I'll tell you, leave this place. You have not learned. When it was time for Isaac to bless Jacob and Esau, bless Esau, later would bless Jacob. He said, go and make me venison. I hope you know that where they got the food, Jacob's food was just at his backyard. So it was not an issue of luck. He said, go. It is a law. Go and package a seed. Package something that gives your parents joy or anybody you know that God has helped and trusted with long life and tell them in the name of Jesus, I believe in this grace and I pray that if you will, just speak a word over my life and you will be surprised you'll be surprised hallelujah yes i have seen strength and vitality in old age i have seen people strong they can they can almost play football a man who can play football in his 80s there are young people right now, 32, 35, 40, 42, 43. And it's almost as if they cannot, they lift a bucket of water and they fall together with the bucket. Such as I have, you see. So these things you see, is not just something you invented. Longevity that comes from scripture, backed up by the heartfelt blessing of those that have spoken over us. The times are evil, ladies and gentlemen. Security can only do so much for you. You need an immunity that is above and beyond this realm. Secured by the word of God. Secured by the immutability of his covenants and his counsel. In the name of Jesus I decree and declare. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. Because God has allowed us to teach this over the body of Christ. We reintroduce this grace for long life again over the body of Christ. I declare the fullness of your days, fulfill it. The fullness of your days, fulfill it. Every pattern you have seen that is now beginning to manifest in your life and you are afraid, will I die? Am I also going to go like that? By reason of tonight's teaching, I cut you away from it forever. The spirit of untimely death that is sweeping across Africa, across Nigeria, destroying brilliant minds, bright potentials before their time, I decree and declare you are covered supernaturally. We are approaching the festive period and naturally people travel some by sea some by air some by land and then some by any other means people will travel within the country and across the globe i decree and declare no evil report shall be heard about you and let's agree right now for anyone connected to you who is currently in the hospital 
or struggling with any sickness or someone who came here for service let me stretch my hands over you before we wrap up every devil of sickness that followed you here it does not matter what name it is called in the name of Jesus be healed now be healed now be healed now be healed now I command your blood to be cleansed now I pray for every doctor here and every doctor hearing me every lab attendant every paramedic we empower you afresh as instruments of God's mercy receive supernatural wisdom and unction as you attend to patients in the name of Jesus Christ under your watch the patients will not die in the name of Jesus we pray for those who are connecting right now from various hospitals clinics various places of help maybe rehabilitation centers in the name of Jesus we decree and declare may the life and the power of Jesus surge through the television and touch them right now in the name of Jesus and not only are you a bona fide recipient of longevity I release you as an agent to transmit the same that beginning from tonight whosoever you declare upon as far as longevity is concerned may heaven back it up for in Jesus much less name we pray but right now by the power of the Holy Spirit people will start running out now it is a grace for speed that is coming upon them help them please just bring them out gently you don't have to so they don't enjoy themselves Shabareketoski, please help them help that lady someone just hold her this is the place of encounter do to me what you want this is the place of surrender hallelujah hallelujah praise the name of the lord I'm only acting as the Spirit of God is revealing. You will be surprised. I'm still praying for speed. That if there is any spirit that has tied people down, that will not release you, no, you must go. I'm saying it again. May that grace for speed find you now. Find you now. In the name of Jesus, I speak by the authority of the kingdom. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 Now, this set of people I'm praying for, I want you to bring them out. Please, very quickly. I want you to bring them out. The ones I'm about to pray for now. I stretch my hands and I decree and declare. The Lord is telling me that there are spiritual graces and giftings that have been dormant within people. And that fire is releasing you right now. I want you to bring those people out. I stretch my hands by the Spirit of God. In the name of Jesus, may that grace be activated. It's long been there, but prophecy is calling it forth. Please, whether you are an usher or not, help those under the anointing and you bring them out. Hallelujah. Please bring them out very quickly so we'll wrap up. I activate it by the Spirit. Bring them out. No more weakness in the name of Jesus. No more weakness by the Spirit of God. No more weakness. What do you do, my friend? Can I pray for you? In the name of Jesus Christ, drink of this well. May you be powerful. May you be great. No, no, you don't need to come. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. May that hand rest upon you. Please help them. Help them in the name of Jesus. May that hand rest upon them. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
in the name of Jesus Christ over families I just saw like a dark cloud being lifted over families this is what I saw in the spirit right now that grace is coming on you a dark cloud from this night many people will begin to testify age-long situations I'm declaring it by the authority of the kingdom I bring you power from the throne in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God families that dark cloud that siege that has sat on families I declare be lifted be lifted be lifted over ministries be lifted in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God hallelujah praise the Lord I don't know this woman madam what do you do huh just you huh husband and, husband and wife hold your hands I saw light coming on both of you and the Lord says that there are things here and there to adjust but he wants to help you can I pray for you I stretch my hands both of you receive that grace let it open you up to a new season in ministry in the name of Jesus Christ I decree it by the spirit of grace in the name of Jesus Christ I decree it by the spirit of grace now there are two gentlemen here you have been praying for the healing anointing I know there are many people but these are two people the Lord is showing me right now power is coming upon you from heaven is a dimension of the healing ministry you know one of the ministries God is restoring before he returns is the healing ministry I submit to you that we have lost the healing ministry in the body of Christ there are pockets here and there but there are people who will be an embodiment of the healing power of Jesus I don't know where those two people are but in the name of Jesus I decree and declare may the hand of the Lord rest upon you right now rest upon you right now let there be a stirring from your spirit man capacity to heal nations bring healing to the nations healing to the nations healing to the nations I'm saying it I quicken your spirit man healing to the nations you will carry that healing mantle from state to state from city to city in the name of Jesus Christ we have to wrap up please hear me whatever it will take tomorrow let me encourage you if it means bringing the entire river state if there is no space if it means to sit on the roof like they did in the bible please stay there tomorrow i'm going to take time to minister i want to show you the systems of dominion i give you a guarantee by the intelligence and the integrity of scripture that your life will shift in a way that will surprise you in the name of jesus christ you know a man of God in this city who is hungry and whose heart is open for a change. Please invite them to come. This is no longer just a house on the rock program. It is God visiting a territory. Do not allow someone's hunger to go and thirst to go unquenched. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I just saw a crown fall on the ground and the Lord is saying let that crown be restored back listen your crown is a symbol of your authority and for some reason there are people you have lost it the level of glory that was once in your life right now your life is as though it's Ichabod things have just people look at you and it's almost like you're a memorial people just say my god i used to know days when this man was like this can i speak over your life before we wrap up the same vision i saw i saw the crown fall but god is able to put it back right now i decree and declare help them please i stand by the power of the word of god and the ministry of the prophetic help that man please in the name of jesus let your crown be restored now your bishopric i decree and declare let it be restored your relevance in portacot your relevance in the south south in the name of jesus your place in life and destiny i decree
decree and I command, let your crown be back to your head. Oh king, oh royalty, in the name of Jesus Christ. No power, no manifestation of the word of God. You have come to Bethel, the house of God. I decree and declare in higher dimension of spiritual power. May, may it rest upon you now. The grace for signs and wonders like never before. I release it upon you. Receive it now. I release it upon you. Receive it now. Supernatural signs and wonders through your hands in the name of Jesus Christ. The grace for intimacy. The grace to spend time in his presence until you draw forth into your life the riches of heaven. I impart that grace upon you. I impart that grace upon you. Let me impart the grace for prayer. There is the spirit of prayer and supplication. The grace to travel until you touch dimensions of spiritual reality. Receive that grace right now in the name of Jesus. Every spiritual slumber, every spiritual lukewarmness, I declare be free from it right now. The capacity to understand scripture, high level spiritual illumination, I declare may your eyes be open, may your heart be open, may your mind be open in the name of Jesus Christ. The fortitude to comprehend spiritual reality, I decree and declare may that grace rest upon you. Hear me. For the things you need right now, that your spiritual level has not yet, um, based on your spiritual level, you may not seem to purchase those spiritual realities. I stand by the power of this apostolic and prophetic mantle. I still shift you to step into that level. I shift you to step into that level. Levels of favor levels of honor levels of influence levels of speed let me pray over your finances please receive it in the name of jesus christ i sincerely pray for you from the depth of my heart that by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I forbid your hands from being dry. I forbid your hands from being dry. Enjoy the gift of man. Enjoy the gift of man. Enjoy the gift of man. Favor from the north. Favor from the south. Favor from the east. Favor from the west. Step into prepared blessings. Hallelujah. Where you have been despised from tonight, I place a mantle of honor upon your head. Everything that has refused to grow in your life, I declare the grace that makes for multiplication and growth, whether it's your work, whether it's your business, whether it's your ministry, experience exponential growth. Finally, I pray for you in the name that is above all names. All the people who have been mandated to come and be blessed by your anointing, wherever they are, I decree and declare by divine coincidences, by the leadings of the Spirit, I send them to your life to be blessed. I send them to your church to be blessed. I send them to your organizations to be blessed. In the name of Jesus, 
from today I want you to carry this consciousness I am a blessing say it please one more time say I am a blessing for the last time say I am a blessing reject anything that wants to make you look like you're a cause anybody who does not appreciate you for who you are just leave them with their ignorance but as far as you are concerned I am a blessing say it in the morning say it in the afternoon say it in the evening whenever you go to work you are not just an employee waiting for salary I am a blessing the power of God is at work in me I am a blessing a blessing to your husband a blessing to your wife a blessing to your children a blessing by reason of being a doctor a blessing by reason of being a man of God I am not a curse I don't bring pain I don't bring regret there is no regret around me I am a blessing in these says shall all the families of the earth be blessed when you carry the mentality you are a blessing when people come to you in need you don't just look at them and pity yourself you are happy because if you cannot give them money if you cannot give them counsel don't forget you are anointed don't say I cannot do anything they may ask you for money they may be confused but there is something you have you can tell them listen I may not be able to give you any money here but let me pray that grace let it work go and they will think they just left until they return with fearful testimonies be a proof producer be a sign producer be a wonder producer in the name of Jesus Christ be a multiplier factor to the advancement of the kingdom of Jesus one more time say in the name of Jesus I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that every walk of evil over my life over my family and all connected to me I come against you in the name of Jesus open your mouth and begin to pray someone is praying someone is praying In the name of Jesus, he said he suffered no man to do them wrong. He reproved kings for their sake, saying, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Say in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus I am God's anointed. I am God's anointed. Therefore, I declare, Therefore I declare that every evil, that every evil against my life, against my life I cost you by the blood of the Lamb. Open your mouth and pray. Every evil. Every evil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every closed door. Every closed door. Over my destiny. Over my destiny. Right now. Right now. I declare. I declare. Be open. Be open. Please open your mouth and pray. Be open. Every closed door.
in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus He said, I desire to come to you once and again, even I, Paul, but Satan hindered us. Satan can hinder men. I'd like you to shout it from the depth of your heart. Say, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus I take authority, take authority over, every hindrance, over every hindrance, stopping good things stopping good from things. coming into my life. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Every hindrance, man, systems, demonic forces, every hindrance, I come against you. I come against you. I come against you. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hear me. If you are in ministry or you are in any form of leadership, as we pray this prayer, let it be from your heart. Every chain. Every chain. Shout it again. Say every chain. Every chain. Tying down my advancement. Tying down my advancement. Tying down my progress. Tying down my progress. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Break now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say every legal access. Every legal access. That the devil has over my life. That the devil has over my life. Over the works of my hands. Over the works of my hands. And over all connected to me. And over all connected to me. By the blood of the Lamb. Access is broken now. Go ahead and pray. Every legal access. Every legal access. Even the lawful captive shall be delivered. Hallelujah. 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 Now, please listen carefully. Listen carefully. Just help those under the anointing. When I was preparing the prayer requests, this prayer request, I had a vision. And in the vision, I saw a woman sitting down and I just saw tears coming out of her eyes. And that was when this scripture came, Psalm 116 verse 8. Psalm 116 and verse 8. Psalm 116. For thou hast delivered my soul from death, my eyes from tears, and my feet from falling. 
Someone say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I decree and declare. I decree and declare that the spirits and the forces responsible for my tears. I declare judgment upon you. Now open your mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus. 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 Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The mantle for my destiny. The mantle for my destiny. The mantle for my assignment. Rest upon me now. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. The grace assigned. The mantle assigned for your destiny. Let it rest upon you. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, two more prayer points. Fire is burning in this place. Hmm. You are going to pray. Everything that left my life, everything that left my life, by demonic orchestrations, by demonic orchestrations, I decree and declare. I decree and declare. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. Return back to my destiny. Open your mouth and prophesy. Restoration. 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 Everything, everything, everything. Restore, restore, restore years, restore things, restore years, restore things. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. The final prayer point, I want you to pray it with all of your heart. 1 Corinthians 15. 1 Corinthians 15 and verse 26. 15, 26. And the last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. Last week, you cannot imagine how many people I got, without exaggeration, probably thousands of text messages saying, Apostle, thank you so much. That message, I shall not die. It just destroyed. You cannot imagine how many people live perpetually in the fear of death. Fear of death. He says, and to deliver them who through the fear of death have all their lifetime been subject to bondage. Say in the name of Jesus. Shout it. Say in the name of Jesus. I declare that I have no covenant with death. I have no covenant with death. 
have no covenant with the grave. Therefore, every altar that wants to administer death, may the Lord judge you right now. Open your mouth and pray. I have no covenant with death. No covenant with death. No covenant with death. No covenant with the grave. Someone pray. No covenant with death. In the name of Jesus. Some of you who are tired of negative circles, circles that seem to repeat itself, by February you thought it will end. Now we are in November. If you keep quiet like this, I pray that it does not happen that next year by this time you still come again. Don't forget that the man who was at Bethesda, the Bible says he had been there for 38 years. I'm sure after the fifth year, he would say no problem by the sixth year everything will happen time does not change anything the day you get angry and in the name of jesus said tonight is my night this moment is my moment there is no reason why i should walk away without a testimony listen the woman with the issue of blood said to herself since there was no one to listen to her she said to herself if I may but touch let me just know when Jesus is passing I don't care what will happen you can insult me when I'm healed I will tell you sorry if I step on you let me get the miracle first we can discuss the issue of we look to Yahweh Yahweh Our hope is Yahweh, Yahweh. Lord, we look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Forever, Yahweh. Lord, I look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Forever. Lord, we look to Yahweh, Yahweh, forever Yahweh. Please listen, beloved people of God. I want you to make up your mind that you are not the one who will clap for others today. That in the name of Jesus, for the sake of your children born and unborn, for the sake of those who are connected to your destiny you are a man of god here tonight is your night to cry lord i hold on to the horns of the altar something must be loose about my life and my ministry i must access power from heaven that grants me capacity to walk in dominion hallelujah hallelujah praise the name of the lord now please listen I want to begin to minister now hallelujah I just want you to bring for me out those who are under the anointing now please no talking no shouting if you can I just want you to be silent I don't know why God does this but this is the wisdom of God sometimes he just acts in a very very strange way hallelujah Praise the name of the Lord. Now, I'm going to pray for you. When I mention that case, please, whether you are an usher or not, I want you to bring those people out. You call it a miracle service. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. 
the fire of God is going to begin to come on certain people and I will tell you what it is for I want you to please pay attention hallelujah you see there is always one vessel that God uses in every family to be the one who is a deliverer are we together now in every family and sometimes it's not just by the chronological firstborn secondborn you can be the least and yet you are the one that God has chosen now the power of God is coming on these people this set of people that God is calling to be battle axes particularly in their families I stretch my hands right now please bring them out my God you don't have to be an usher please if if anyone is under the anointing close to you please bring them let's see what we can do with the space we have here in the name of Jesus I decree by the decree of heaven over families raised by God like a reed that has been taken out of fire in the name of Jesus the son of the living God like a reed that has been taken even out of fire by the finger of God anointed to be deliverers even by the spirit of the living God Alanda Gabaros Katika Shabra Katika Shabra Katapa Rekos Kalika Embra Kataka Tapa Katos Kapra Kaska Veneka Tapa Lakuyata Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I'll just pray over this one so that we can have some more people because I'm about to declare and announce deliverance right now over people who have been held bound by all kinds of demonic things in the name of jesus for all those who are in front here i decree and i prophesy over your life that mantle and that grace to open ancient doors that have been locked up over your family and as i'm praying for them i'm praying for everyone by the power that raised christ from the dead i hand those keys over to you now in the name of jesus the son of the living god I decree and declare by the power that created the heavens and the earth here at Activate Conference 2022 I decree and declare in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God may that anointing rest upon you grant you capacity to bring others out your family members out all who are connected to you by bloodline in the name of Jesus Christ Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I declare this upon you to the glory of the name of Jesus now please hear me I'll pray for the sick shortly but you see spirits do not only manipulate men spirits can manipulate conditions spirits don't only possess men they can possess conditions that means a spirit can find expression over a condition and you find out that the same way men behave that is how that condition will behave hallelujah the bible says now the lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty i want to pray for you that if God be God everything that has threatened your liberty that is in Christ I want you to open your heart to receive because you will be surprised that many things that you are going through in your life are orchestrated by the presence of spirits even in ministry even in family even in hell in the name that is above all names I decree and declare over God's people that everyone who is under the yoke of any demonic influence by the power that raised Christ from the dead and by the blood of the eternal covenant help them I decree and declare be set free now be set free now be set, help them please be set free now I command those spirits in the name of Jesus let them go by the blood of the eternal covenant for the Bible says blotting every handwriting and ordinances that spoke against us that he nailed into his cross therefore we establish the victory that is in Christ and we announce your liberty 
in the name of Jesus we announce your liberty in the name of Jesus we announce your liberty in the name of Jesus the spirit of death the spirit of inheritance the spirits of poverty the spirits that control patterns repeating cycles by the fire of the Holy Ghost anyone here who is a victim of repeated patterns in the name of Jesus and by the grace upon this altar we announce your liberty we announce your liberty please help that lady we announce your liberty we announce your liberty we announce your liberty we announce your liberty announce your liberty in the name of Jesus I want you to pay attention every chain that has tied you down that will not allow you make constructive kingdom progress I stand upon this grace tonight and under the corporate anointing in this place I'm seeing chains breaking from people's hands as I speak in the name of Jesus chains break Chains break, chains break, chains break, stagnation comes to an end. Chains break in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There are families here that have repetitions of sicknesses that you find out everybody has the same kind of sickness and no matter how medically attentive they are to that situation it does not seem to have a solution I make reference again to what was said in the time of Jesus who sinned that this man was born blind him or his father and Jesus said neither but this has happened that the glory of the Lord be revealed therefore in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God and upon the authority of that which Christ represents I decree and declare that everything that is inconsistent to the program of God and the liberty of the saints be delivered from it now hallelujah be delivered from it now 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 all doors open all doors open all doors open I'm saying it to someone this is not for everybody all doors all doors open I declare it, all doors, Portacot, hear my voice, all doors open, all doors open, ministry doors open, business doors open, help that woman, career doors open, all doors open, the doors of influence, the doors of access, the doors of opportunity, for he said a great and effectual door is open, but many are the adversaries, I clear the adversaries out of the way, but as for that door, by all means, be open in the name of Jesus and for certain doors we not only declare that be open we declare be broken it says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God we decree and declare I say it again that the gates and doors they represent systems of access that transit people from one realm of possibility to the other I stand by the God of heaven every door that has shut you and impeded your advancement I speak to it now let it be open hither and thither in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah listen Jesus speaking about the power of faith and relating it to doors he says which of you that a man comes to knock your door in the night wanting that you help him with food because he has visitors or because he's late 
and you tell him listen you came at a wrong time your timing is not correct I've already gone to bed with my family but the Bible says because of his importunity his consistency to knock that you will get up and give him as many loaves as he's desired there is a level of pressure you mount upon the integrity of God that compels doors to be opened for the last time I declare over those doors in the name that is above all names we are not praying that some will open in Acts chapter 12 the Bible says all doors open not some not some the door of your spiritual life should not open leaving your finances the door of your finances should not open leaving the door of character no we declare again all doors open say amen all doors open all doors open in the name of Jesus according to Revelation chapter 3 from verse 8 and 9 it says that I set before you an open door and it says none can shut it and he said that happens by the mystery of the key of David he that openeth and no man can shut that means when doors are open is men that shut them but there is something I can do to that door he that is the holder of the key of David that opens a door that no man I say it again that by the mystery of the key of David access to superior light this door be open and remain open Isaiah was prophesying and he says your gates shall be continually opened they will not be shut day or night so that you will receive the forces of the Gentiles hallelujah he said where you have been deserted so that no man will walk through you that you become an eternal excellency even a joy of many generations may that be so for you and for those who are here in front I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit it is a new season for you now I want to pray a very serious prayer that God just put in my spirit hallelujah those in front if you can God bless you you can return back let me pray for this officer I was very touched um, just seeing him just come and lie in the presence of God sir I want to pray for you I believe in the power of the Holy Spirit and I believe in your hunger I want to pray that that which you seek you see according to james 2 26 a body is useless except it is empowered by a spirit in every component there is the body and there is a spirit a business is a body without a spirit it is dead are we together now ministry is a body without a spirit spirits empower bodies so be sure that everything you are doing has its spirit component i want to pray for you sir a man wearing his uniform as an officer would not come and officers are powerful people they have been trained using the highest levels of strictness possible but you see the same way you are standing before the people of God that is the same way God will announce and honor you visibly listen there is an anointing called the kingmaker anointing a, a kingmaker never becomes a king but he enthrones and dethrones kings Samuel never became a king but no king ever ascended to the throne ignoring his ministry let me pray for you sir no eye has seen no ear has heard what God has prepared for you so you submit to his work in you till Christ is formed in you no eye has seen, no ear has heard what God has prepared for you. So you submit to his work in you till Christ be formed in you, till his glory be formed in you, his wisdom revealed through you, his power rests on you so you submit to his work in you till Christ I stretch my hands towards you by the privilege of the election of grace I release grace upon you the grace for visibility I measure a thousand cubits in the realm of the spirit 
and in the name of Jesus first as far as your practice is concerned receive grace take that anointing right now you will break lips and bounds you will in the name of Jesus you will run through a troop you will leap over walls even by the power of the Holy Spirit and I declare upon you rise to the highest level in your practice even by the favor of God you will not die in battle you will work valiantly in the name of Jesus Christ this is by the decree of the watchers may the Lord honor his word in the name of Jesus I pray amen and amen I want to pray right now listen every territory is in trouble until it can find a rich investment of the spirit of prayer and intercession I want you to listen very carefully there is a relationship between the spirit of prophetic intercession and the corporate territorial manifestation of dominion you can have dominion as an individual but a territory only assumes a posture of dominion in the spirit to the degree to which you find men who understand the mysteries of the altar i want to release a grace upon you because you see when a territory does not have men who pray strategic prophetic prayer ezekiel 22 said i sought for a man that he would stand in the gap i sought for a man it is in the place of prayer that you will have access to negotiate destinies like abraham did over sodom and gomorrah god came to abraham to report what he was going to do that is what it means to be a friend of god shall i hide this from my friend abraham seeing that he would be a great nation and abraham said hold on with your judgment per adventure you find 50 people then 20 people then 10 people he said for their sake and he gave him a chance to rescue lot and the wife of Lot would have been rescued except she turned back. And I said, if any man draws back, my soul will have no pleasure in him. Please listen carefully. River State, Port Harcourt, South South. The program of God, as far as influence and dominion over systems and structures, is at the mercy of men and women who know how to transact possibilities in the spirit even through prayer when jesus came he was not just learned he did not just teach the disciples and let me tell you when it has to do with the ministry of prayer and prophetic intercession is more than give me tea and give me bread god can literally listen there are three levels of authority this is not my assignment tonight but let me just share it with you the first and the lowest level of authority is authority over things when god grants you access to things it is not such an accomplishment in the spirit authority over things the second level of authority is authority over nations are we together the highest level of authority a man can command on earth is authority over god's program listen carefully authority over things then authority over nations and territories men but the highest level of authority is god can commit his program to you and say listen this is what i desire to do over a people and i am trusting you you will steward that move there are people here this i'm saying this because there are many levels of impartations that will happen others are receiving that impartation that grants you access to authority over things others god is measuring a thousand cubits for you and he's increasing your territorial influence people do not just command territories across nations it is not just about human recommendations no this thing is an accreditation in the spirit that is reflected in the earth a man approved of God he said are we together in the parable of the five two and one talent if you remember Matthew 25 the blessing that was given to them for faithful stewardship of talent he did not just give them more talent he said well done good and faithful servant i now commit to you authority over kingdoms so he used the talent as a test he gave on to one physical things as the first level of authority to steward things like money you see 
when God gives you money and gives you things land that is wonderful but in the realm of the spirit you are not very much but then he gives you authority over nations you step into nations and regions and change the spiritual climate over that place you see that now and it has a physical reflection Elijah did not say let there be no rain in a radio house or a TV house he stood from a position and influenced the territory and it responded physically then the highest level is the program of God where God can say because you are alive I know that my program for this dispensation is preserved so I want to pray the spirit of prayer and prophetic intercession this is more than the realm of give me tea lord give me bread lord help me i'm saying this because some of you hear me some of you if not for this conference your bishopric is about to be taken by others because god has committed this to you but because you see the ministry of intercession is very unattractive it does not seem to carry physical rewards because nobody knows you you may not be invited for conferences no honorarium as Anna the prophetess yet that is the ministry that brings Jesus to the earth I decree and declare men and women by the power of the Holy Spirit according to Ezekiel 22 the mantle of the intercessor the mantle of a watcher let that grace fall on you now the spirit of prayer and supplication understand the mysteries of the altar command power in the heavens I decree and declare in the name of Jesus Christ over the climate of Portacot over the climate of River State over the climate of the South South help this woman please I decree and declare right now may you be granted access to the seeing eye and the hearing ear in the name of Jesus Christ discern the speakings of the spirit and obtain grace to hold on to the horns of the altar till the program of God is better within a season prayer that allows or disallows the program of God hallelujah let's pray for the sick now I want you to pay attention please please listen everyone whether you are in God will vet your heart and will purify it that every attachment to material things to money to reputation to titles every mundane pursuit every earthly thing that has stolen your heart and your passion I like you to pray that it will be far from you. Open your mouth and pray. I hope someone is praying. Search my heart. Search my heart, oh God. Search my heart and try my thoughts and see if there is any evil way. Then lead me to the way everlasting. In the name of Jesus, separate my heart from material wealth. Separate my heart from fame. Separate my heart from the desire for increase as against my love for God. These things are wonderful, but I pray that a circumcision happens in my heart. Is someone praying right now? Let there be a divine supernatural circumcision in the name of Jesus. Purify my motif. Circumcise my heart. All the cares of this life that keep motivating me to do spiritual activities but not motivated by my love for Jesus. Let it be pruned, O oh God. Edit my passion. Let Jesus be restored to my life as the epicenter, the motivation for ministry, the motivation for impact, the motivation for prayer, the motivation for fasting more than the desire to be famous more than the desire to be wealthy more than the desire to make or preserve a name more than the desire to have reputation someone is praying that forever our lives will be pruned and motivated by this singular desire 
that we love Jesus we love Jesus hallelujah final prayer point for tonight and I want you to pray this with all your heart I like us to pray and resist the pressure of walking in the flesh especially in this end time Holy Spirit I restore your leadership to my life I decree and declare that once again your voice will become the principal um, motivation for my direction you are my shepherd I may have ignored you as my shepherd but I call you again willingly consciously deliberately shepherd of my life shepherd of my destiny shepherd of this church shepherd of this ministry shepherd of your prayer group shepherd of your business shepherd of Nigeria oh pray for Nigeria in the name of Jesus based on the prophetic unfoldings in this nation spirit of the living God we pray we restore the ministry of the spirit lead us as individuals as corporations as ministries as families as men and women of God as business people may we value the excellency of the leadership of the Holy Spirit we follow you Jesus we follow you Jesus if you lead to the left to the left we go if you lead to the right to the right we go if you say stand still we stand still if you say run we run we depend on your voice we depend on your leadership we take up the cross and we follow you in the name of Jesus father I pray for the body of Christ Lord I pray particularly for our precious generation we thank you for stretching your hand so mighty upon us thank you for the apostolic across Nigeria Africa and the world thank you for the prophetic thank you for the evangelistic thank you for entrepreneurs Lord you have raised this generation you have granted us access to high level never seen before dimensions of spiritual illumination you have given us the eyes to be able to see the mistakes of the generations past to see the scars even of the fathers and Lord you have granted us the stamina the discipline and the grace to make adjustments and now you have brought out of us a dexterous generation in the similitude of the rich young ruler man of speed man of might man of wisdom man of understanding man of skill man who are even eternity driven but Lord I pray like you have revealed to us tonight this one thing that we still lack this one thing that we still lack that desire to love you sincerely the desire to live our lives and be motivated by the desire to see you glorified and the desire to love humanity and to extend our life to impact someone one life and one destiny at a time we pray that this one thing we lack by the help of the spirit may our generation not miss it Lord, we thank you for the fathers who have mentored us and continue to mentor us. We thank you for the saints and the patriarchs, dead and alive, men who have opened up their scars and their wounds. We have seen their mistakes. We have seen their shortcomings. You have granted us the grace to climb upon their sacrifices to where we are today. We stand before you, Jesus, like the rich young ruler, and we confess that there is this one thing that we lack our heart condition 
alongside our desire to submit to the leadership of the Holy Spirit we repent oh God as a generation we repent as a people we repent as men of God we repent as business people we repent as kingdom leaders we repent and we cry and ask you by your mercies by the covenant of eternal mercy that you had with David in the name of Jesus we pray show our generation mercy may we not miss it in the name of Jesus and Lord I pray for every man of God every woman of God every captain of industry politician a person of influence I pray in the name that is above all names grant us a grace to be able to fulfill that which you mandated the rich young ruler to do what he could not do may our generation do we declare afresh our love for you Jesus we declare before the nations from Nigeria to the ends of the earth across Africa Europe the United States and all the other continents we declare that we are a people who are motivated by our love for you we declare that we are a people who truly desire the entire scope of our lives and our pursuit is to see Jesus glorified and then oh God we declare that we love the brethren we declare that we love the body of Christ we declare that we love this nation we declare that we love Africa we declare that we love the world and Lord we obtain grace from you to spend our lives impacting lives becoming voices of hope voices of healing voices of deliverance voices of prophecy voices of salvation in the name of Jesus thank you for tonight for in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray and I declare over you you are blessed by the power that raised Christ from the dead every key of the kingdom that you need to access to rise to the position of rest round about I declare your eyes find access to that light hear me for anyone here who is still suffering spiritual bankruptcy financial bankruptcy you have not yet learned the ways of the spirit you have not yet mastered the laws of life that elevate men to positions of value and relevance i pray for you by the power that raised christ from the dead that the same grace that raised that young man to become a rich young ruler may that same grace open you up to the keys of the kingdom and for those that god has helped to attain unto a position of stature and grace commanding fearful results already across the nation I pray for you that in the name of Jesus Christ you will seek Jesus like the rich young ruler sought him and that when you find him the final prayer I pray for those who have found him and value his presence so much that you will not waste your time and the value of his presence but that you will allow his presence to change your heart you will allow his presence to cultivate within you the desire to submit to the ministry of the Holy Spirit I bless you and I declare that this week for you is a week of blessings it's a week of recovery it's a week of increase it's a week of enlargement in the name of Jesus because your heart is stayed upon the Lord may he open to you the treasures of greatness may he open your ears and your eyes to see and hear in the name of Jesus Christ I bless you with the blessings of heaven may the blessings speak over your life I pray for your prayer life greater fire I pray for your word life greater fire I pray for your passion for the things of God greater fire but I pray that your motivation will ever be Jesus and nothing less, nothing more. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And everything you desire to see God do in your life this week, I release my faith with you. Return with testimonies. For in the mighty, the matchless and the blessed name of Jesus we pray. under the corporate anointing of every man 
of God, woman of God here represented, word of life, and all who are connected, all who are following by a live broadcast or a rebroadcast, in the name of Jesus, here in this season of Jubilee, I sound a shofar in the realm of the spirit, and I declare, let it be a season of exodus from every calamity. Everything that represents shame, reproach, delay, retrogression, Ichabod, that proverb that has been used over you, in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare seasons change. Seasons change. Seasons change. Hallelujah. Genesis, help that woman please. Genesis chapter 24 or 21 from verse 1. The Bible says, And God visited Sarah as he had said, and God did unto Sarah as he had spoken. God only does what he has said. He does not do what you want. He does what you want that is consistent with what he has said. The assignment of God's power is to look for what God has said. The power of God has no ministry until it finds what God has said. The anointing is the validator of the speakings of God. So if God has not spoken, the anointing can be dormant. I prophesied as I was commanded. He said, and there was a sound. Let me speak over someone. Whether in your ministry, whether in your business, this jubilee anointing, I declare, let it rest on the works of your hands. Let it rest on your family. Let it rest on your children. In the name of Jesus, I declare rest round about. Rest round about rest round about hallelujah i prophesied deuteronomy 28 from verse 1 to 12 over your life you are blessed in the city you are blessed in the country in the name of jesus christ i prophesied psalm 112 over your life he said blessed is the man that feared the lord that delighted greatly in his commands he said his seed shall be mighty upon earth i prophesy that your seed is mighty he said the generations of the upright shall be blessed may your children and your children's children be blessed he says wealth and riches shall be in his house and his righteousness endureth forever the memorial of your impact will not be eroded in the name of jesus christ Hallelujah. Now please. Yakare. 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 Very simple song. It says Yakare. What you are saying is a prophetic word. Yakare means it is finished. Yakare means it is over. When Jesus hung upon the cross, he said, It is finished. So this will be a song of declaration as I prophesy. We've been coming to the south and the east be fair on us. Come on, let's go to the north. Are you ready now? Very simple song. Yakare. Over that financial situation, yes, we are pain in your marriage, yes, we are barrenness, yes, we are shame and reproach over your destiny, yes, we are business failure of all sorts, yes, we are pain and tears in ministry, hear me, yes, we are 
I decree and declare right now in the name of Jesus standing upon the grace of God's choice servant and under the corporate anointing I speak over your life please listen everything that represents reproach and shame here at this miracle service tonight we decree and declare that the God who commands dominion is bringing to end every negative season in your life I prophesy over someone arise and shine I prophesy it is your season arise and shine arise and shine arise and dominate arise in your office arise in your family arise in Portacos arise in Nigeria arise in Europe in America in Canada arise across Africa here at activate conference 2022 we declare prophetically arise shine indeed your light has come I speak over you that Gentiles will come to your light and even their kings to the brightness of your rising I declare that for your shame you shall receive double in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord gives you beauty for ashes the oil of joy for the spirit of heaviness I call you the oaks of righteousness the planting of the Lord that he might be glorified can I pray over your finances I decree and declare by the power of prophecy may the heavens be rent over you and may you experience favor unusual kindness towards you unusual access to the hearts of kings and unusual acceptance at the gates in the name of Jesus Christ let me speak over everyone in ministry this is a new season for you regardless what you have done and you have seen by the power that raised Christ from the dead let it be a new season for you all those who are in the worship ministry the ministry of prophetic psalmistry obtain grace to write songs from the spirit obtain grace to write songs of revival songs that will be loud as portals that will usher in new moves of the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ and for all those who are sons and daughters within the house and within this ministry the Bible declares that a worker is worthy of his wages I pray for you tonight and then through the sessions that come tomorrow I decree and declare under the corporate anointing that has run through this entire time of the conference in the name of Jesus walk in dominion Omega the beginning and the end bless him from the depth of your heart the one who does great wonders in the midst of his people let him hear your voice in gratitude father we bless you we honor you king of kings the lord of lords the miracle worker the one who changes, who lifts, who transforms destinies. Blessed be the name of the Lord. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, we declare that your name alone be exalted in the land of the living. Forever and ever, thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory. From everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. We worship you. Father, the Bible declares that he that cometh unto God must come believing that he exists and that he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So we have come with open hearts. Oh, let the ancient words in part. I have come with open hearts. Oh, let the ancient words in part.
forever true changing me and changing you we have come with open Blessed be the name of the Lord. Speak to us tonight. For this is your house. Your home. We welcome you. Lord, we welcome you. This is your house. Your home. We welcome you. And I am your house, your home. I welcome you, Lord, I welcome you. I am your house, your home. I welcome you today. Trust me higher levels of your grace someone is praying you are crying to the God of heaven higher levels of your power higher levels of your grace there needs to be results 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 results, results. in my life results in my Christian experience results demonstrations that Jesus is alive winning nations in a moment by the power of his word backed up by authentic genuine superior spiritual power in the name of Jesus Sean, Blessed be the man that God causes to approach him. Come. For someone, God is calling you. You came to church tonight and God is saying, I'm extending an invitation. The dreams that you saw does not have to end as dreams. Apostle, I saw Smith Wigglesworth. That's not enough. Telling the world you saw him is not what they want. When Elijah carried the mantle of Elijah, the sons of the prophet said the spirit of Elijah doth rest upon Elijah. Saving nations in one day, bringing territories to the obedience of Christ in one day, in one moment, in one encounter. We don't have the time to go city by city again. The time is near. We don't have the time to go conference by conference again. Taking regions and taking nations by the power and the fire of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please write if you can. Let me share with you three platforms for accessing superior levels of the power of God and then we'll pray. Ah. Someone God brought you to church to plant a fire that will not die soon. Hmm. This fire that is coming upon you is not planning to leave you soon. It will burn everything until you become an inferno of fire. There are men and women that will rise up in this end time from a standpoint of power you will not even know who is male and female again there will be people carrying authentic power authentic power authentic power authentic power we will fade away this this era of faking miracles this era of stage managing all kinds of things and introduce something authentic to the world again More than good speaking, more than oratory, 
more than intellectualism and philosophy oh let the power of god come again come upon this generation maranatha let your power come come upon our homes come upon our families come upon our pulpits come upon our churches Maranatha, come, come, O oh God, come, O oh God, let your name not be to a reproach, come, O oh God, visit families again, come, O oh God, visit Africa again, come, O oh God. Visit Nigeria again. Come, oh God. Visit the West again. Visit the East again. Visit the South South again. Visit the North again. Pray one minute and say, Lord, visit again. Visit again. Visit again. Don't tell me Apostle Babalola's story. He has gone. Visit us again. Don't tell me about Archbishop Benson Itahosa. He has joined the cloud of witnesses. Visit again, oh God. Don't tell me about Catherine Kuhlman. Don't tell me about Emmy Temple McPherson. Visit again, oh God. Let history be rewritten. Someone pray. Someone pray. Someone pray. Revive us again. Shabakata Katosketea. Visit again. Visit again. In your power. Visit again. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Three platforms. Please write. The nations will see again before he comes. I like to say that I thank you. Go ahead and bless him. I can never repay you, but from my heart, I like you to know that I thank you. I can never repay you, but from my heart, I'm saying, Lord, that I thank you, thank you, Jesus, for the grace that you have given. Sing of the mercies of the Lord With my mouth will I make it known From the rising of the sun Right on to its going down I will sing of the mercies of the Lord Go ahead and bless him Father, thank you. Thank you for healings. Thank you for deliverances. Thank you for preservation. Is someone expressing gratitude tonight? Thank him for koinonia. Thank him 
for light, marvelous light. Thank him for the power of his spirit. The grace to travel across the nations, bringing the light, the truth of God's word with power and grace and a spectacular demonstration of his spirit. Is someone saying thank you? Thank him for prosperity. Thank him for increase. Thank him for influence. Thank him for Jesus consistently revealed in our midst, consistently glorified in our midst. Lord, we bless you. Let the nations know that you are God. Let the nations know that you are King. Let the nations acknowledge you as the doer of every good thing, every good thing, every healing, every miracle. Don't be tired. This is part of the miracle service. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. I am so blessed. My soul has found rest. Oh Lord, I give you thanks. I am so blessed. My soul has found rest. Oh Lord. Father, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. We bless you. Don't focus on me. Don't focus on what is happening. Just look to Jesus. We honor you and we thank you. Thank him for your children. Thank him for your wife. Thank him for your husband. Forget about what is not yet in place. Just focus on thanksgiving. Thank him because it is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed. The psalmist said, I lay me down and I slept. I waked for the Lord sustained me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Father, we thank you. Let the nations watch as we thank you. Let the nations watch as we helplessly declare our dependence on you who is the doer of everything good in this life and in this ministry. Thank you. For in Jesus' name we pray. Father, as a man greatly helped by you, as a ministry that you have lavishly shown your mercy, we say thank you. Thank you for life. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. Thank you for your word. Thank you for the power of wisdom. Thank you for the systems of advantage you have granted us access to. Thank you for the anointing. Thank you for placing your hand upon our lives and causing the nations to experience your light even from us. Thank you for granting us access to illumination, demonic fraternities. And right now, by the Spirit of God, the power of God is beginning to rest on such families and altars. Please bring them out. Bring them out right now. It's not something you can stand. This is, this is by the Spirit of the living God. Please prick them out and bring them out very quickly. Jesus is alive and the power of the grave is broken, broken forever. I decree and declare right now that everything young and old, there are some of you who are standing representing families, fraternities with the grave, the spirits of the dead. It says, oh death, where is your sting? And oh grave, where is your victory? May that grace come upon you now, bringing liberty, bringing liberty, bringing liberty by the Spirit of God. 
in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God marvelous God now God is showing me something I'm seeing something that looks like a shadow coming out of people like physically shadow these are spirits that have been moving in the bodies of people in the name of Jesus every familiar spirit every spirit that is not of God that has connected itself to your spirit manipulating your life and your destiny I declare that it leaves you right now I bring you deliverance right now by the power of the Holy Spirit 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 hallelujah now we're going to shout that name Jesus please hear me this is not just for individuals now there are many many families the Lord is showing me I'm seeing a man standing a very tall man and I'm seeing chains on your feet both of your feet they are under chains and the Lord is telling me that that man represents families it's not just an individual we're about to shout that name Jesus the moment that happens the power of God will come on individuals representing their various families no matter where they are some of them may not be here on ground but the power of God is coming upon them are you ready to shout that name Jesus one two three shout Jesus I break those chains I break those chains now I break those chains now I release families under demon under demonic captivities chains be broken 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 hallelujah hallelujah the Lord is showing me a family here in fact for that person I don't know if it's that you have changed the surname or you want to change the surname because someone told you something about the surname and said there is something connected to ancestry that comes with that name who is that person I'm about to pray for that person I'm seeing a lady you are wearing red complete red down this is you are one of such persons that the Lord wants to visit with that name I'm giving it please let's respect the I give the chains falling I give the chains falling let me tell you the truth now I'm not I'm not advising you to go and change names I am just telling you that in the realm of the spirit a name is more than a means of identification are we together now to the an extent that God would call Abraham Abraham Sarai Sarah Cephas Peter I want to pray right now I'm going to stretch my hands towards you the power of God is going to come you don't have to change the name physically but from the realm of the spirit any connection with any name in the name of Jesus those in front I stretch my hands right now every altar that powers any name to work evil over you in the name of Jesus I declare right now at the count of three let it be broken one two three break break now 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 every name connected to ancestry I'm saying it again names that came as a result of dedications done to idols names that came as a result of covenants with the dead by the power that raised Christ from the dead from the realm of the spirit I break the power of those names now I break the power of those names now I break the power of those names now 
I'm telling you, I'm just see fire rising in front. That's what I'm saying. I say it again. I break the power of those names now. The power of the, help that woman. The power of those names now. Please hear me. I'm praying for everybody. But then for those in front here, any exchange that has happened in the realm of the spirit, an exchange of your destiny, on account of Abakatos Ketekata, an exchange of Abare Ketos Kiata. Oh, I'm, I'm seeing exchanges happening. Let there be a restoration now. A restoration now. By fire. A restoration now. A restoration now. A restoration now. Release your destinies. Release your destinies. Every altar. Release your destinies now. Please hear me. Some of you, while I'm praying for you here, your loved ones who are not here, but because they are connected by bloodline, what God is doing, I'm saying it again. He said, and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. The mother called him Jabez, sorrow. Every name, spiritually and physically, that is upon your life right now and is responsible for your destruction. I come by the rod of a higher priesthood. Let that name change now. The power behind that name, I break it now. I break it now. I break it now. Hallelujah. I'm about to pray a very serious prayer right now. For those who can, you can return to your seat. Um, I'm seeing the map of Nigeria. Listen carefully now. And the Spirit of the Lord is taking me to Benue State. And I'm hearing the name Aleku in the name of Jesus Christ. Any family that is connected to that spirit of divination, right now the power of God is going to come on some people. That spirit, Aleku, be broken. Be broken, be broken. The spirits of the dead, help them please. Benue State or anyone connected to that state in the name of Jesus Christ be broken now be broken now then we stay I don't know what it is that you have to do with a tree but the Lord is showing me a tree every covenant it is true that believers are called trees but not demonic trees I decree and declare every connection with the elements of creation that is for your destruction I set you free now hallelujah hallelujah let me share with you what God just showed me. This is an incredible vision. I just stood here now. You know how you open peanut or groundnut? You just open the shell. And God is telling me there are destinies that have been wrapped up by demonic altars. Listen, listen. Fire is about to fall on some people now. I want you to bring them out. Every destiny, I don't know by what demonic means, your glory was covered. But in the name of Jesus, by the power and the authority of Jesus, as you shout the name G Apakata, kata, kata. there are ministries that will rise tonight there are visions that will rise tonight at the count of three shout Jesus please bring them out one two three I open up that close destiny I open up that close destiny I open up my God please help them I open up that close destiny right now be open, be open, be open. Please help them. Be open. Hallelujah. Now, now is not the time for impartation. 
but the Lord is asking me to pray for a gentleman you don't have to come out so that you are not embarrassed you were genuinely called into the prophetic God has called you into the prophetic but something happened one day now I don't I don't speak evil against the body of Christ but you were introduced to somebody who supposedly laid hands on you and gave you something you know maybe I don't know I, I presume not intending for evil but that thing connected you with familiar spirits from that time you started having very destructive visions and even torture for yourself I don't know who that person is whether you are inside or outside or online but in the name of Jesus the Lord is asking me to minister your deliverance be set free now I declare the purity of your mantle let there be restoration now hallelujah I'm seeing the number seven a woman seven years you have been trusting God for the fruit of the womb I know there are many people but please let's just work with instructions seven years who is that person seven years very quickly I want to begin to pray for the sick you are seven years you are trusting God for the fruit of the womb my God God himself is bringing healing and bringing deliverance healing and deliverance when you find that person please seven years where is that person come where are you from Benway. Huh? Benway. Benway State come stand here how many years seven yes where is your husband he's not here he's not here listen ladies and gentlemen let me tell you something about the power of God once you can believe look at this woman seven years now many married women many married women will tell you of the kinds of things that happen in Africa there are people when they get married three months is enough everybody's looking at you saying what are, nothing is happening are you all right three months hallelujah in the name of Jesus be silent let her go now <laughs> my um, madam look at me I'm going to pray for all of you but lay your hands I want you to know that the power of God is able to set you free I know that women will still disobey but no problem just let them come place your hand in your stomach there is grace for fruitfulness in this house so let me tell you the truth I'm about to pray most barrenness issues are demonic you know that by now let me pray for you now I will use you madam from Benway as a point of contact I'm praying for her but I'm seeing someone else under the anointing in the name of Jesus I command the spirit now let them go I command that spirit out now out now out now in the name of Jesus every spirit responsible for barrenness I'm seeing something like a rope being removed from one of your wombs I remove it right now I remove it right now I remove it right now in the name of Jesus I remove it right now by the power of the Holy Ghost I prophesy to you according to the time of life return with your miracle children return with your miracle children there is a woman you are watching from Ghana you are sitting in your living room you have been trusting God for the fruit of the womb for four years you are seated right now with someone I don't know if it's your sisters you are following this program in the name of Jesus go and write it God will give you a baby boy <laughs> hallelujah don't be offended and I don't want you to come out but there is a woman you see I don't believe in the ministry of condemnation we help by the spirit but there is a woman because of a prolonged childlessness you again went somewhere and it's not like you were, you were even uncomfortable but they took you somewhere where somebody would supposedly maybe do something to help you and from that time 
it has been affecting you you have been bleeding this has this is a demonic thing wherever that person is in the name of Jesus we dissociate you from those demonic things we dissociate you from those demonic things hallelujah Jennifer I'm hearing a name Jennifer and the Lord is telling me it has come to an end help them please it has come to an end this is what I'm hearing in my spirit it has come to an end Jennifer the word Jennifer that's what I'm hearing I'm about to pray it has come to an end I stretch my hands right now I don't know what it is but in the name of Jesus Christ Jennifer let it come to an end now 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 by the power of the Holy Spirit now it comes to an end by the anointing of the Holy Spirit I'm speaking under the unction of the spirit. I say it again, it comes to an end. Ah. There is a family right now God is delivering. Marriage does not work in that family. No matter, even if you marry, you must return back to your husband's house. I just saw light. I don't know where that family is, whether you are inside or outside, but the power that has tied down the power that has tied down the marital destiny of that family I lose that family now hallelujah I lose that family now now Azaria family is also following the Lord is ministering to me. I'm seeing two ladies. I'm just seeing the venue, our venue in Zaria. And I'm seeing two ladies. In the name of Jesus, the fire of God is coming upon them right now. And the Lord, I'm hearing the word restoration. I believe it's not just for them, but I'm praying for someone. There is a mantle that is coming on someone for strange restoration. Please hear me. Please hear me. Please hear me. Please hear me. I'm about to pray. That power will come upon you. This is between now and 15th of December. You will come and testify. In the name of Jesus. Receive that anointing right now. Receive that grace right now. Help them please. Help them please. Help them receive that grace right now. Between now and 15th of December. I prophesy to you. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. Restore. Restore. Restore, restore, restore in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'm hearing a word for someone. The trouble that is surrounding your office needs the miracle hand of God now. If not, I'm seeing something about to happen to you by next month. This is a career person. Antagonisms around your office. And with what I'm seeing, it's like a query later. And I'm seeing something that is making you lose your job. In the name of Jesus, I don't know who that person is, but I'm speaking to you by God who is the helper of men. I turn things around for your favor. I turn things around for your favor. The Lord is showing me, I'm seeing a family. You are watching from National Hospital. National Hospital here in Abuja. You are at the sick bed with somebody, a patient. And I'm seeing you are watching, someone is watching the video. When it's time to pray for the sick, I want your heart to be open. The Lord is encouraging you so that you will know that no matter where you are, He is able to touch you by His Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. There are 11 people here. Please listen. 11 people you are in business. The grace is a strong unction for entrepreneurship. You are already in business. 
that anointing is coming on you in three months three months from today the way God will shift you it will surprise you 11 people 11 people I stretch my hands right now 11 people inside and outside may that grace rest upon you now may that anointing rest upon you now May that anointing rest upon you now. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm hearing a name. This is a Hausa name. Hafsatu. Is it Hafsatu? Hafsatu. Who is that? What is your name? Where are you coming from? I'm coming from Jerusalem do you believe in Jesus yes, I do. lift your hands And I want you to begin to pray. So many thousands, tens of thousands of requests here and across the globe. Is someone stretching your hands? Father, in the name of Jesus, let there be miracles right now. Let there be miracles right now. Someone is praying. Let there be miracles right now. Let there be miracles right now. Let there be miracles right now supernatural miracles by the Spirit of the Living God make sure you are praying I lay my hands upon this prophetically every situation that must give way it gives way right now there is a balm in Gilead we declare healing by the Spirit of the Living God. Father, visit families. For all those who are following online, all those who are viewing from across the globe, and for all those who are here in the name of Jesus. I believe, I believe, Lord, I believe, Lord, I name of Jesus I bow my knees by the privilege of God's grace and I decree and declare that every issue of concern please listen carefully and shout a loud amen every issue of concern here represented it comes to a permanent end now it comes to a permanent end now it comes to a permanent end now. It comes to a permanent end now. It comes to a permanent end now. And every long standing issue by the power that raised Christ from the dead between now and the end of 2022, in the name of Jesus, hold your testimony in your hand. Hold your testimony in your hand. Hold your testimony in your hand. I lay my hands upon this request and I ask that the anointing of the Spirit will saturate this prayer request and let there be a harvest of answers. Let there be a harvest of testimonies in the name of Jesus. Every issue here that is an emergency issue, we are arrested by the power of the Holy Spirit. Every issue here that is caused directly by demon spirits, by the mercy of God, let there be deliverance now. 
every issue here that needs the approval of systems and structures we declare may the mercy of God show up now and every issue here that needs the ministry of destiny help us we declare may God raise men to show up therefore I decree and declare by the anointing of the Holy Spirit that these Egyptians you see today may you see them no more forever may you see them no more forever may you see them no more forever in the name of Jesus Christ may I please invite his Lordship Bishop please come and Apostle Amen please come I'm going to give Bishop the mic he's just going to speak words over your life I believe in taking advantage of the anointing here and I want you to receive as he speaks over your life receive it and then I will wrap up by declaring over your life yes sir just whatever the Lord just puts just it to speak blessings over his people in the name of Jesus Christ yes sir. in Jesus name amen I speak word of faith mm. concerning your life yes, Lord. and the work of your life, your hands. I pray grace that what you receive here, mm. what you received here, no eyes have seen, Amen. no ears have heard. Amen. No, is it passive in the heart of men? Yeah. What God will continue to do yeah. in the name of Jesus. Amen. As you turn around and start going back home, God, God, God will turn things around. Amen. In the name of Jesus! By the time you come back here for the next service, you will come rejoicing. I say you will come rejoicing! The Lord bless you. Amen. I decree in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in Psalm 35, 37 verse 25, the message translation. I was old, but young, but now I'm old. I have not seen an abandoned believer. Nor his children room in the street begging for bread. I decree by this mantle on this altar, and these situations that look abandoned, now receive grace of faith. Shaya Papadosa, Vipurate, from to die, nothing good dies in your hand again.
Amen. God bless you, sirs. Let's honor them. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Still praying and speaking over your life. Prophetic words are very powerful. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare every closed heaven over your life. I prophesy to you right now. This by the decree of the watchers. Let the heavens over you be open now. I speak over every day beginning from today till December 31st. Let no day end without you testifying. Let no day end without you testifying. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me pray for your walk with God. This is for me a priority in the life of every believer. I don't care what else works in your life. If your spiritual life, your prayer life, your walk with God is down, then your life is under a situation that calls for emergency. Therefore, I speak over your spiritual life. In the name of Jesus, fresh fire upon your altar. 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 The grace for prayer and supplication, receive it in the name of Jesus. The grace for a constructive study of the word, receive it in the name of Jesus. I have seen the favor of God in ways that I cannot begin to describe. I know what the favor of God is and I know what it can do. By the privilege of the help of God upon my life and upon this ministry, receive favor now. Shout a loud amen. Receive favor now. I speak over systems and structures. I compel them to walk in accordance to the will of God over your life. Anyone here who has been, who has been forgotten between today and next Sunday, in the name of Jesus, let the book of remembrance be open. Let the book of remembrance be open. Let the book of remembrance be open. As responsible citizens, we pray for Nigeria. Anyone plotting evil, anyone plotting war, every conspiracy of dark powers, right now, we command the elements of creation to fight everything that is antichrist. We declare that now the Lord of peace by himself, he will ensure that there is peace always and by all means. In the name of Jesus Christ, Concerning the preparation for the election, I don't belong to any party. I, you see me around with politicians, but I have, I'm a man of God. There's everybody in every party in this ministry. And fatherhood demands that you open your heart for everybody. I don't have any prejudices, no biases whatsoever. But one thing I can tell you is anybody who does not mean well, in the name of Jesus Christ, you will not succeed. <laughs> Anybody across, whether from counselors down till whatever, burying animals, killing children and draining their blood, in the name of Jesus, we invoke the blood of the eternal covenant and we nullify those demonic sacrifices. But as for you, I prophesy upon you, you will not die. You will not be victims of kidnap. You will not be victims of accidents. Every ministry here represented, return back with fresh fire. Return back with fresh grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. And for all our international guests, I prophesy upon you, you return back with answers to your prayers. And in the name of Jesus, God will do mighty things with you. Hear me. Come December, when men say there is a casting down, when men are complaining, in the name of Jesus, may December be your greatest month in 2022. <laughs> Hallelujah. I know I've stretched you, but please listen. Hear me. God helps men, even financially. 
stretch your hands towards me in the name of Jesus Christ by the help of God the God of Jeshurun the one who is able to help men I pray over your finances between now and the end of this year may my God who is also your God may he surprise you in a way in the name of Jesus Christ very strange mysterious financial doors may they open up for you i say it again very strange mysterious financial doors may they open up for you some of you will meet strangers and the strangers will say god has sent me to help you i declare over your life you will not beg in the name of jesus christ in the name of Jesus Christ all the sicknesses that fly around this nation whether airborne waterborne realm of the spirit born I cancel it from getting to you in the name of Jesus Christ and for all your loved ones who are not here but connected to you by faith please hear me in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare as God is touching you here may he touch them there my final prayer for you before I make an altar call please let your hearts be open all round rest whatever that is to you all round rest all round rest all round rest whether it means rest maritally whether it means rest financially whether it means rest in terms of fruitfulness whether it means rest in whatever must happen in your life to be called rest i call upon my god to give you that rest all round rest and anybody who has vowed to trouble you in the name of Jesus Christ by the power that raised Christ from the dead may God arise and scatter them in the name of Jesus our time is up but God is asking me to pray for people I'm hearing in my spirit that there are many people who are having difficulty meeting their financial obligations in terms of house rent or maybe school fees of children or medical bills this is what i'm hearing in the name of jesus this one is by prophecy i don't care whether you do business or not i'm praying for you one week if i be called of god between now and the next one week may my god surprise you one week from now may my god surprise you I say it again one week from now may my God surprise you the Lord hear thee in the day of trouble the God of Jacob defend you may he send you help from Zion I prophesy to you that in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God no more tears in Jesus matchless name we pray from my heart to the heavens Jesus be the center it's all about you yes it's all about you from my heart to the heavens Jesus be the center it's all about you yes it's all about you do you believe this? Blessed Lord, through the cross, where Thou hast died, draw me nearer, nearer, blessed Lord, to the precious. Now, we're fasting on Sunday. On Sunday, we'll be fasting. Children can break their fast from 12 
all our children they can break their fast from 12 pregnant women and those who have any medical condition don't worry we're fasting our fasting will cover for you in the name of jesus every other person let's see how god will help us because of koinonia we may just stretch anything from three you can break so you have the time to plan before you come when we are fasting as a ministry please make sure you are part of it i want you to look to our social media platforms for the prayer focus every time we're fasting we declare a fast there's usually a prayer focus to be able to guide you you can have some time to pray and then take advantage of the prayer focus and have the, the some time to just pray in the spirit prepare your heart is part of our spiritual growth process we believe in raising people a people of stature and a people of power may i encourage you to use this week let it be for you a week of spiritual emphasis take the time to get quality teachings and camp with the word of god study and pray build stamina in the spirit he says meditate on these things give yourself wholly to them that thy profiting will appear unto all in the name of jesus christ for tonight i declare that you are blessed the hand of god is upon you you have come you return like jesus in the power of the spirit and the results will be evident before all men in the name of jesus may your hunger for spiritual things not diminish may honor and grace be multiplied upon your life for those of you traveling we declare that your journeys are blessed you go forth with joy and you are led forth with peace and now may the lord of peace himself grant you peace always and by all means we declare that there will be nothing missing and nothing broken in your life you are blessed you remain ever blessed for in the mighty and matchless name of jesus christ we pray after the grace of my head you are exalted like the horn of a unicorn and i am anointed that was the extra factor in the life of that gentleman he came to church in addition to his study a man of god declared over his life and placed something upon his life that beat us hands down we did our best it just did not work the same way something is coming on you this night that when it comes upon your life even though you just came here with your intellect alone you came here with your connection but i stand before the god of heaven this grace that comes upon ordinary men and turns their lives around hear me for some of you when this grace comes upon you people who have long forgotten you believe what i tell you supernatural achievements by the spirit things will just begin to happen some of you by this grace you will step into ease ease that you may not be able to explain ease that you cannot explain you believe that when it's time to pray please no moving around don't distract yourself this is a very prophetic moment in the next five minutes i like you to pray the prayer point is lord give me an encounter let this grace come upon my life lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and begin to pray please pray please pray supernatural it's time to command the supernatural supernatural prosperity supernatural wisdom supernatural ministry supernatural evangelism supernatural business supernatural parenting Pray. Shketa paka taka to paka tos. Kele para tos kata branda kata kata branda tos. Kele para tos kata branda kata kata branda tos.
Following online, make sure you are praying. Lord, I am ready to step into a supernatural life. The reality manifesting, commanding the supernatural. Man of God, pray. Believers, pray. Let ordinary living come to an end. Ordinary ministry come to an end. Ordinary business come to an end. Ordinary parenting come to an end. I step into the realm of miracles, signs, wonders. Results that confound principalities and powers. Supernatural music ministry. Are you praying? Don't be distracted. Pray. Supernatural results by the Spirit of the Living God. It's time to shift to shift levels in the spirit. It's time to begin to manifest the supernatural. It's time for your life to be an epistle, a testament of God's wonder-working power. Are you praying? Are you praying? <laughs> Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Fire, fire, fire. 
Jesus please listen to me I'm about to pray for you but let me tell you this in this end time those who will really carry the grace for signs and wonders must be people who are serious with Jesus very serious very hungry very passionate more than titles more than church more than emoji more than apostle more than prophet i want to pray for you now we are here for you come and do what you do we are here for you Come and do what you do. Set my heart on you. So you'll do what you do. We're in a move. This is a move. We are here. This is a moon. When Peter and John came to the man at Gate Beautiful, he said, Silver and gold I do not have. He said, But such as I have, give I unto you. Listen to me. I don't mean to be arrogant, but let me tell you this. When it has to do with the supernatural, I know what I am saying. I have enjoyed the mercies of God even on this wise. I know what a supernatural life will do to you. Your ministry, your business, your life. It is Jesus we are looking up to, but it is men that he uses. I'd like you to open your heart in the next two or three minutes. Believe with your heart. Just help those under the anointing. I have had many encounters in my life. I've only said a few of them. It is on the authority of scripture. The ministry of the Holy Spirit. And the privilege of these encounters. I myself have been a recipient of the graces of those that have gone ahead it is not everything that has come just directly by my own personal encounter we have met many people there are those who have gone ahead even in ministry there are those who have demonstrated a supernatural life though we are few we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before we are not the first you are not the first to do supernatural business 
John D. Rockefeller. These are men and women who encountered grace. You're not the first to do supernatural ministry. Oh dear. Scripture and history is full of men and women who shook the earth in their lifetime. You're not the first to have a supernatural career. Ask Daniel, through the reign of four kings, he remained on top. Regardless who was in power, he remained on top. There was a grace. And they said an excellent spirit, not an excellent talent, an excellent spirit was at work in him. You're not the first to be intellectually supported by the spirit of God. There were Hebrew boys who were 10 times better. 10 times better. Let me pray for you now. Father, let this grace come upon your people. Let everyone under the sound of my voice, by the privilege of this grace, by the, the ministry, of this angel of the Lord's presence I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus that everyone under the sound of my voice at the count of three may this grace come upon you may it follow you may it produce results one two three take that grace now take that grace now take that grace in business Supernatural business, supernatural ministry, Kaparos Ketegetebata, signs, signs and wonders in the name of Jesus. Let those that have hitherto Rakatos Ketebrekatekata, I command those gates be open hither and tither in the name of Jesus Christ. Be open hither and tither in the name of Jesus Christ. hear me in the morning in the afternoon in the evening in the night manifest the supernatural for many of you who are in ministry here i anoint you go back to your pulpits let fire begin to fall upon your altars in unusual proportions in the name of jesus christ everything that has been happening in your life by a natural sequence we place grace upon it and we command in the name of jesus quantum leaps geometric proportions of results where you have been praying naturally i place grace upon you may your ministry of prayer step into a supernatural dimension may your ministry of word study step into a supernatural dimension there are many of you here god has called you into the healing ministry but as it is you have not really seen that dimension the tangibility of the healing oil it has not come upon you i open this jar in the realm of the spirit and in the name of Jesus, like Samuel unto David, I place that oil upon you. Receive that grace now. Young and old, man of God, woman of God, prophet, apostle, pastor, intercessor, receive that grace. I release you into a strange healing ministry. In the name of Jesus. We have a financial series coming but let me pray over your finances can i be sincere with you there is such a thing called supernatural finances there really is such a thing the mystery of the raven that brings bread for elijah at brook cherry the mystery of the five loaf and two fish that can feed five thousand there is supernatural finances 
in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands from today in the name of Jesus I measure a thousand cubits by grace I push you into a deeper level of supernatural finances provide value at a supernatural dimension in the name of Jesus Christ one last prayer for many of you you have been making progress but the progress is too slow relative to your destiny in the name of Jesus just help those under the anointing my goodness hear me wherever you should have been but because you did not have the supernatural advantage you have not arrived here yet i stand by the rod of the prophetic in the name of jesus between now and the end of september please hear me i stand as touching the god of my covenant go forward go forward i push you by prophecy in the name of jesus christ help them please go forward in the name of jesus christ go forward go forward go forward in your career go forward in business go forward in ministry go forward can I be sincere with you? This is the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. One of the indices that measure fulfillment is progress. I pray for you again. Whatever has made the pace of your acceleration slow, the same grace that came upon Elijah and made him to run and overtake the chariots of Ahab, may that grace come upon you right now. And every force that we want to fight this prophecy in the name of Jesus by the privilege of God's grace he has given us the key of David the key that opens a door that no man can shut and can shut a door that no man can open we open that door and it remains open day and night we open that door it remains open day and night by the mystery of the key of David that door will never be shut day or night in the name of Jesus thank you Jesus wave your hands to Jesus as an act of worship let's wave your hands to the king of kings thank you Thank you, Jesus, for changing my level. Thank you for giving me a new story. Remember, Thanksgiving is the last digit to the faith equation. Lord, we thank you. We wave our hands in worship, thanking you. Indeed, it is a good thing to come to the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, please listen. Just final admonishment. Father, we bless you. We bless you for your mercy. We bless you for your presence. Someone giving God thanks tonight. Blessed be the name of the Lord, the doer of wonders, the lifter of men. Thank you, Spirit of the living God, the one who glorifies Jesus in the midst of his people. Thank you for your presence, your power, your glory, your wisdom. Now ask him for an encounter tonight. 
Father, give me an encounter again by your word, by your spirit. Give me a very definite encounter tonight. Give me an encounter by your spirit. In the name of Jesus. Affect my life, breathe on me. I look to you for life. Affect my life, breathe on me. I look to you for life. Affect my life, breathe on me. Lord, I look to you for life. Affect my life, breathe on me. One more time. Affect my life, breathe on me. I look to you for life. Affect my life, breathe on me. I to you for life. Father, we pray that you will change us, you will build us. Let the revelation of your word come with power. And in the name of Jesus, may we ascend realms and dimensions in the spirit tonight. Empower us even by your spirit. Tonight, on account of your word and on account of your spirit, let weeping come to an end. Let pain come to an end. Let failure come to an end. Let negative seasons come to an end. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Beloved in Christ, thank you for watching this video. If you are new here too, I would entreat you to kindly subscribe to this channel for me and then hit on the like button. Also, I would want you to share this message across. I would want you to do one thing for us. Kindly tell us in the comment section where you're watching us from and you've got any testimony for us. Kindly let us know. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. In the name of Jesus, drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season, it is still dry season spiritually, financially and otherwise. I decree and declare, let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin.